It's time to welcome in the holiday season, the Chartway Holiday Parade at the Beach. Season's greetings from the Atlantic. This is the 2022 Chartway Holiday Parade at the Beach on Sky4 TV. We are Cash and Annalise from New Country, 97.3 The Eagle. And uh, we're blessed to be here today. Good, uh, good, good, good evening and Merry Christmas, Annalise. Merry Christmas, Cash. Dare I say it's a Christmas miracle. The rain earlier today <laughs> cleared just in time. It's a beautiful evening here at the Virginia Beach Oceanfront. No better way to kick off the holidays uh, than here on the Atlantic. So again, uh, again, you're tuned in to the perfect spot, the 2022 Chartway Holiday Parade at the Beach on Sky4 TV. We want to again thank Chartway Credit Union for serving as the title sponsor of our Chartway Holiday Parade at the Beach. Since 1959, Chartway has been unlocking the potential of individuals and families so they can thrive. And its charitable arm, the Chartway Promise Foundation, has raised nearly 14 million to bring joy, hope, and smiles to children facing medical hardship or illness. We invite you to join us in watching this brief video about this uh, people and community focused credit union who helped make today's parade possible. For over 60 years, Chartway Credit Union has been helping members grow and thrive. By making our people-first commitment priority number one, we continue to move forward, all the while giving back to the community. We've built success by focusing on key elements that are important to our growth. By honoring our relationships and connection, we grow stronger. By valuing our differences, we work together for the better. And by serving our communities, we continue to grow and shine, and it shows. Being recognized by Forbes magazine as a best in state credit union reinforces that commitment and inspires us to do more and be more. Through our charitable arm, the Chartway Promise Foundation, we've raised millions to bring joy, hope, and smiles to children facing medical illness so they can be kids again. We also continue to support our future leaders by providing scholarships to help student members reach their academic and personal goals. With over 200,000 members, Chartway has the financial tools, services, and innovative banking technology to meet the financial needs of every member. It is our mission to help everyone reach their full potential. It's what makes us Chartway, and it's what makes us an integral part of the community. Thanks so much to Chartway Credit Union for being part of this year's holiday parade at the beach. And when we get back, we're going to kick things off again. This is the 2022 Chartway Holiday Parade at the beach on Sky 4 TV. Cash and Annalise at the 2022 Chartway Holiday Parade at the beach. And uh, we're glad that you're with us today, Sky4 TV. Merry Christmas, Annalise. Merry Christmas, Cash. This is our second year getting to host the Chartway Holiday Parade at the beach, and we're so happy to be back. Absolutely. And there for a little while, again, weather was interesting this morning. We kept an eye on it, and uh, the uh, rain wasn't going to cancel this. Uh, it's a this, Christmas this miracle. Yeah. It stops, like, right at 5. <laughs> <laughs> it really <laughs> did it turned into a, a a lovely evening and uh, everybody agreed and so we've all gathered here today the crowd the crowd has gradually uh it been increasing and uh, it's looking like people are gearing up to kick off the uh the 2022 holidays here in virginia beach want to give a special shout out to kalfas and knackman injury lawyers they've been supporting the hampton roads community for over 40 years they want to wish you a happy and safe holiday from everyone at Calfus and Knackman. And of course, our friends at Chartway Credit Union. Thank you to Chartway Credit Union for serving as the title sponsor of the Chartway Holiday Parade at the beach. So, getting things ready to go here uh, this evening with the uh, Virginia Beach Volunteer Rescue Squad. And you had said earlier, Annalise, the, uh, the outfits that they got going on. That's what I'm talking about. Those are lovely. Look at them. They look so spiffy. They are dressed to the nines. Best dress right here to start off the parade tonight. <laughs> well, you got to have a nice uh, uniform, you know, to have any type of an organization. And, of course, the classic rescue squad. It's kind of a uh, rip of an old ambulance and the Ecto-1 that you would see in Ghostbusters. I was just that thinking that old school movie vibe. I like <laughs> it. Look at all their nice flags, too. 
These are the mutts with a mission, and they are precious. If, if you know, if you excuse me for a minute, I might go pet some dogs, Cash. No, that's okay. Bring one back up here. <laughs> bring one right back up here with you. So, one of our uh, first set of balloons making their way into the. Uh, the 27th annual Shirtway Holiday Parade at the Beach Balloon, carried by so many wonderful volunteers from some of our sponsors. Followed by Mayor Bobby Dyer, the Virginia Beach mayor in that nice horse-drawn decked out carriage. Yeah, the uh, carriage is provided by uh, Chariots for Hire. He was uh, sworn into office on November 20th, 2018. First veteran to be mayor in Virginia Beach history, Annalise. Chartway Credit Union moving on through. Thank you so much to Chartway for sponsoring this year's holiday parade at the beach. Look at that. That's fancy. That's it's like a, a moving billboard truck. That's really cool. Imagine watching uh, Sunday football on that. That would be nice, right? And a gigantic present balloon. Yeah, the uh, balloon gift box. Again, it's all sponsored by uh, Chartway. Look at the amount of people that have to hold that down. And again, those are all volunteers. We appreciate everybody uh, coming together to make this happen. Here comes the Salem High School Marching Sun Devils, 35 band members. They are a Virginia honor band and the two-time Virginia Music Educators Association Blue Ribbon School. Under the direction of Andrew Smith, uh, students enjoy performing for their community while celebrating the holiday season. Uh, you'll see drum major Alex Rakowski leading the way. The students love performing for their community while celebrating the holiday season. I love the decked out band outfits. Oh look, they even have bows on some of their instruments. What a fun touch. Staff Lee Cooper, Dennis Northerner, Summer Cozens, CJ Willacruz, Lindsey Saunders, Arnold Bowie, and Madison Dean. This is Salem High School Marching Sundays. And again, just learning to uh, perfect an instrument. These are high school kids, right? Here comes the Old Dominion Historical Fire Society. They've played an important role in the collection, preservation, and presentation of fire service history. The society sponsors antique fire uh, apparatus uh, musters throughout the Commonwealth and participates in over 200 events. The dog is a nice touch there on that fire truck. Very fun. You have to have the Dalmatian in order for and, and a, a white fire truck. I know, you know it's that's, spiffy. Uh, yeah, that's a nice spot to ride the parade there on the uh, Virginia Beach Fire Absolutely. Department truck. One one thing that I've always wanted to do was uh, play on a fire truck. If you can remember, uh, Fireman Rob promised us we're gonna have to hit him up on that one. <laughs> oh, hey, that's our coworkers. It's the Santa Claus head <laughs> presented by the radio stations of Max Media. They own us, 97.3 The Eagle, as well as 92.9 The Wave, and 100.5 The Vibe. We also got uh, ESPN. You can listen to the Tom, Tim Donnelly Show, excuse me, weekday afternoons. <laughs> That's our Eagle truck right behind the balloon. Hey, friends. There <laughs> We're we go. over here. Of course, the Eagle serving uh, Hampton Roads, a live and local country radio station. Annalise and I, we host mornings. Karen West, you can hear Karen West weekday afternoons. Jimmy Radio is back. He is live 3 to 7. And Stephanie Taylor, uh, evening 7 to 12. Let's not forget James Ace. Our company followed by the Ghostbusters of Virginia, established in 2001, a fantastic franchise filled with good fun memories and lifelong friendships. Okay, now I need to figure out how I become a member of the I was uh, just Ghostbusters. About to ask. 
Well, I saw the guys walking it with the proton backs when I got here, and I was like, oh, they're just having a good time. I, I no, did this not, is legit, I didn't Cash. realize that was an organization that I can join. With There's, two yeah, groups. Right there in Virginia, the Richmond Division in Richmond Metro Area in District 757, protecting uh, southeastern Virginia from spooks, specters, and ghosts. I have told you before, and at least I am the ghost with the motions, right? So I don't know if that would work out. If anyone knows awesome. more about Ghostbusters trivia than you do, I don't believe it. Ecto-1, you got the Marshmallow Man coming out. I, this is fantastic. Why are you not in that? I don't know. That's, <laughs> what I, are you doing here? That's, a, that's a really good question. This decked out bus is from the Ability Center of Virginia. They serve individuals and uh, with physical and developmental differences. They offer day and summer programs uh, focus on occupation and social skill building ties to the community. Coming up next is the crew from Waterman's Chicks and the Shack. Waterman's Surfside Grill, Chicks on the Beach, and the Shack on 8th have been serving up fresh local fun since 1981. Yeah, family owned and operated by Mike and uh, Marion Standing. Waterman's Chicks and the Shack are the place to be for fresh squeeze orange crushes and local seafood. Gotta tell you, Cash, every time I have visitors from out of town, have to take them to Waterman's. It's a must visit. It, it really is. I mean, it, it's it's such a must. I remember when I flew into Virginia for uh, to come in to visit for for this job. They took me to Waterman's. I was like, I'm sold. It's a good spot. Like, this has to be the place. <laughs> right down the road. <laughs> right. Here comes the crew from Lidl. They are one of the sponsors of the Chartway Holiday Parade at the Beach. I love shopping at Lidl. It's a great spot for great deals. And shout out to their European bakery they have in store. Don't forget those uh, Nutella-filled waffles they mm -hmm. have over there as well. I mean, those, those hit the spot, I'll tell you what. Here comes the Gold Star Ornament presented by Lidl. We're so happy to have them part of this year's parade. Also want to give a shout out to Kalfas and Knackman for over 40 years. Kalfas and Knackman injury lawyers have supported the local community. Wishing you a happy and safe holiday from everyone at Kalfas and Knackman. We're good. We're going to come back. You've been watching the 2022 Chartway Holiday Parade at the beach and uh, we have more to come. Center 60 members. They are a recreational and competitive dance studio and they have the Christmas moves. Pivot's mission is to give students a well rounded studio to learn, create, and discover their talents. The members partner with Parents Against Bullying. I'll tell you, dancing has really kind of it's blown up just popularity wise. It's really become a, a pretty incredible extra, you know, extracurricular activity for kids. You know, it's and it's a, a great time. alternative, you know, from football, baseball, dancing is something that a lot of kids have taken to. Meals on Wheels established in 1974, 48 years of receiving donations from citizens of Virginia Beach. Yeah, these donations help to provide meals for uh, making sure seniors and those homebound are delivered hot meals, safety checks, and daily smiles. Oh, they got the gingerbread man. Nice. I think we got a uh, reindeer also there, pushing a uh, pushing a little uh, little kid in a stroller. Providing that great music. Right behind is the. First Colonial Marching Patriots. 80 members directed by Luke Walker. Next up we have the National Alliance on Mental Illness, Coastal Virginia. They provide no-cost resources, education, training, and advocacy for those suffering from mental illnesses in our community. Some great mantras they've got on their ornament signs. I am worthy, I am loved. Such important reminders because you know what? The holiday season can be tough for a lot of people. Yeah. 
Yeah, their goal is to uh, provide quality dance training in a healthy environment. 2020 awarded top scoring routine at three regional dance competitions. The students are required to concentrate on strong techniques in dance mentality, spirituality, and physically. And they are rocking the tinsel skirts. Yes, ladies. Twelve years they've been actively participating in the holiday parade at the beach. The more dancing, the better, honestly. Well, and again, now there's regional competitions that they're involved in, you know, so it's dance has really taken off. Mm-hmm. I can tell you from my children at the house, you know, they're quite the, uh, these dance parties nowadays. <laughs> That's a real thing. You're going to be a dance dad oh, soon enough, gosh. Yeah. Well, I just can't ever remember times when I was growing up that my friends uh, suggested a dance-off, you know, whereas now it's a pretty common thing. So, as you, and as you can see, they're very, they know what they're doing. Nothing like a good old dance-off, right? True that. Thanks again to Chartway Credit Union for serving as the title sponsor of this year's Chartway Holiday Parade at the beach. This is Cash and I's second year getting to host, and we are so happy to be back with you. Festival. King Neptune this year is Taylor Franklin with Lady Emily, the Triton's Prince, and the 48 Princesses of the Royal Court. Neptune Festival is proud to host over 40 events per year to benefit citizen and business community plus nonprofit groups. Enjoy. Enjoy. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Enjoy your holidays. And Neptune Festival looks forward to seeing you on the boardwalk in 2023. It was so sad this year. I'm pretty sure it got rained out. Neptune Festival, I don't yeah. think it happened this year, but very excited for 2023. Look at those beautiful princesses. Gorgeous ladies. Love their tiaras. Fancy, yeah. Such a nice no, it touch. Looks wonderful. So the uh, Neptune float reminding us we have a lot to look forward to next year. For over 40 years, Calfus and Knackman injury lawyers have supported the Hampton Roads community. Wishing you a happy and safe holiday from the team at Calfus and Knackman. Here comes First Landing Dance Center. They're a local dance studio providing young people a place to work on their skills, make lasting friendships, build self-confidence, and gain valuable life experience. And this is the ADC Academy Dance Companies from Salem High School. We saw Salem earlier in the band portion of the parade. This is an elite group of dancers selected through audition process at the beginning of the school year. Some are members of the Visual and Performing Arts Academy. They perform at Salem High School and throughout the community. Everybody at the Academy wishes everyone a happy holidays. That's interesting. The elite group, you know, when uh, there's auditions. That's intense. You know, oh, yeah. Tryouts, but it gets you something, you know, it, it provides you something to work toward. Anchor Realty Group has some really fun and festive outfits this year. They're a family-owned and operated business since 1957. Sales, property management, vacation rentals, and, land and landscaping. Proud to serve their Virginia Beach community. It's Anchor Realty Group. Trying it's got to figure elf out. in there. Okay, no, that's an okay. Buddy the elf. And an anchor. I've met, that's a. I like the, that's an anchor that's dressed a up for the holidays. Anchor. Yes. That's not just any anchor. No, it is not. We're gonna come back. You've been uh, watching and listening to the uh, Chartway Holiday Parade at the beach on Sky4 TV. We'll be back. 
The Chartway Holiday Parade at the Beach is brought to you in part by Calvis and Ackman and Chartway Credit Union. It's Cash and Annalise from the Chartway Holiday Parade at the Beach. And Annalise, I believe this is the uh, Parkway Elementary School Panthers step team and drum line. Kindergarten through fifth grade, they've won numerous awards and they got to participate in the National Kidney Walk this year. Go Panthers, they rock the house. In, anytime that you can get kindergartners and first graders to do anything in unison, I mean, that is a major, major victory. It's true that. They've got some nice light up necklaces, fun <laughs> red and white outfits, very cool. Captivating Cats dance team established in 2015 with 40 members. These ladies are trendsetters and they've won over 300 awards on the East Coast. Wow. Yeah, they've been featured in television and music videos, performed in Pharrell Williams' Something in the Water Festival, and uh, compete and winning against the dancing dolls from the hit TV show, Bring It. They even got to perform at Disney's 50th anniversary celebration and we're lucky enough to have them in our Chartway Holiday Parade at the beach. They are sparkling. Look at all of the rhinestones and sequins on those outfits. I love it. Here comes the Beach FC celebrating its 40th anniversary. It's a club that's seasonal and has annual programs for all ages. Recreation for elite high school age travel programming. The club runs seasonal and annual programs for all ages and abilities from two to 19 years of age. I'm guessing their members must be very excited about the World Cup right now. Yeah, we uh, have a tough loss earlier this morning by the Netherlands. But for U.S. to make it to the uh, round of 16, you know, Still it's just really something, something to build off of, you know. But again, I mean, football clubs all over America are growing. You know, and so to bring more attention to it, this area, there's no reason why this area shouldn't have a professional soccer team, Annalise. It's one of the fastest growing sports in America. Well, clearly we have a lot of soccer fans. We, Look at them kicking the ball right there at the parade. There's plenty of interest. If you build it, they, they will, will come. come. Good to Field see. of dreams, yeah, right? Absolutely. Look at you. Nice proud I knew that. Uh -huh. <laughs> Here come the Kellum High School Marching Knights and the Princess Anne Middle School Marching Panthers Band. They are marching combined this evening. Kellum High School Marching Band, Knights under the direction of Cameron Baker and Princess Anne Middle School Marching Panthers Band under the direction of Stephen Clinton. 80 members. Again, this is the Kellum High School Marching Knights, as well as the Princess Anne Middle School Marching Panthers Band. They are going combined for the parade. And you know, it's interesting with marching band because there are some schools, you know, depending on whichever middle school feeds the kids into the high school, the high school program will start at the 6th, 7th, 8th grade level. You'll start learning some of the marches that they're doing at the high school, and you'll start practicing the things that they're doing so that by the time you reach a freshman in high school, you're already familiar with the direction of the band director. I mean, every single year they're picking new music to compete, but it's very much like any type of organized sports team. You know, in 7th, so 8th grade, they start learning the program so that by the time they hit those, junior, senior years, they're ready to go. 80 members. And again, look at that. I love the uh, the lights wrapped around the trumpets. <laughs> Big thanks to Chartway Credit Union for serving as the title sponsor of our Chartway Holiday Parade at the beach, live on the Atlantic. This is Cash and Annalise.
from 97.3 The Eagle. Thanks for uh, joining us tonight. Merry Christmas. We're so happy to be hosting the Sky 4 TV parade broadcast for the second year in a row. It's now becoming one of our own holiday traditions. And again, for those high school kids, just to be carrying around those big drums, you know. Oh, this is what I'm talking about. You couldn't get me off of roller blades back in the early 90s, Annalise, I'll tell you what. Here comes Synergy Inline Racing. They've got members from ages 5 to 60, 40 members total, and they are decked out. I love the Christmas tree on roller blades. Christmas tree on roller blades. So fun. I'll tell you A what. A gingerbread man. Yeah. I remember when I was in elementary school, my friends and I, the minute school was out, rollerblades were on. And we we rode those things around town. Grew up in a small town. Nothing was too far. You could ride a bike or rollerblade, skateboard to uh, any place that you needed to go. But, I mean, I lived on rollerblades probably from about 93 to about 96. A good wow. three-year span there. I mean, I... I Everywhere I went, I was rollerblading. Skating ring, rollerblades, so. I had a pair, I loved them too. It was the move. <laughs> I may need to get some more. Here comes the Volkswagen Club of Tidewater, formed in 1981. They host the annual car show to benefit Toys for Tots. And you don't have to own a VW to be in the club, to be a club member, but you uh, do have to be a uh, Volkswagen enthusiast. If you want to get involved, check out their page on Facebook, VCOT81. You can find them there. Look at that beautiful Volkswagen uh, van right there, bus. They're all just yeah. in pristine condition. I think I saw one with a bat symbol on it in the back there, I believe. Look at that. Oh, the one, the white one in the back. See that? Oh, yeah. They are followed by Bella Dance Company from Virginia Beach. They offer a wide variety of dance classes for ages 3 to 18 under the direction of April Bell. These high kickers have traveled to New York City, performed in Times Square National Dance Day. Here comes the Norfolk Christian Ambassador Drumline. Director is Ben Mex. 89 gifted members. High school honored class performing at their school's home games and concerts. They look dapper in these nice button downs and bow ties. Very dapper band right here. <laughs> Now that's a cool blazer. There we go. I'm telling you, you always, you you can never go wrong adding bubbles to a Christmas or any type of a parade float. We did all the parades um, back in the Texas Panhandle where I was, and I always added the uh, bubble machine to the uh, station van, and it always added, you know, kids love that type of stuff. And cats too, by the way, bubble machine. That's a winner right there. Yeah, it really is. Delilah could go for a uh, bubble machine for Christmas, <laughs> I believe. I cannot even imagine putting my cat Delilah in a parade. Oh my gosh, she'd be meowing. alumni chapter of Delta Sigma Theta sorority chartered in 1982 they've had 40 years of service this year in Virginia Beach they're rooted in sisterhood scholarship social action and service annual scholarships to talented Virginia Beach high school students chapter president is Geraldine Eady Delta Deers dedicated energetic active respected soars senior members of the chapter thank you ladies 
Here comes the Tallwood High School Marching Lions. They're a 15-time Virginia Honor Band with 58 members. Chartway Credit Union members owned and value driven. Chartway serves more than 200,000 members and has been recognized by Forbes as one of America's best in-state credit unions in 2022 and has received numerous other top workplace and best credit union accolades. That is Chartway Credit Union. Additionally, the Chartway Promise Foundation has raised nearly 14 million, bringing smiles to children facing medical hardship or illness. Thank you again to Chartway for being our title sponsor of tonight's event. And this is the Tallwood High School Marching Lions. We've seen some great high school bands tonight, and middle school too. Look like we have uh, Snickerdoodle, the balloon here. Snickerdoodle's a good looking balloon. <laughs> here comes the Virginia African American Cultural Center. Founded by Dr. Amelia Ross Hammond, the code words are curate, cultivate, and communicate. The Virginia African American Cultural Center established as a public-private partnership with the city of Virginia Beach. Their vision as the statewide leader is generating historical and cultural content of African American history. They have a grant they received from Virginia Tourism to generate historic and cultural programs, artistic performances, and exhibits. They've got a lot going on, and that's awesome. Here we go. See, this is uh, from your childhood right here. That's that abominable snowman from that classic Christmas special that they used to air from the, uh, the 60s. From Rudolph. Mm -hmm. And this is Cub Scouts Pack 493. Cub Scouting is a year-round program with programs offering fun and challenging activities to promote character development and physical fitness. Pack 493 is uh, charactered by the Wycliffe Presbyterian Church and run entirely by volunteers. Now listen, these guys, I gotta tell you, you know, it's funny, as a man who thinks that he is still young and constantly pulls muscles in his back and in his neck and things like that, do yourself a favor, call the guys at 1-800-GOT-JUNK, all right? They'll come by your house, they'll get whatever it is that you want to get rid of, you can reclaim your garage, I think we read something. I think is sixty percent of people who own a garage have so much stuff in it they can't even fit their cars in there. The guys that got junk will roll by. They'll get it. And the good thing about these guys is they take everything and try to recycle and repurpose at local area nonprofits right here at Hampton Roads, Annalise. The balloon they have it's the double fantasy ornament float, presented by One Eight Hundred Got Junk. If you're just tuning in, we are Cash and Annalise. We do the morning show on local country station 97.3 The Eagle. We are hosting the Sky 4 TV broadcast for the second year in a row and so glad to be back. Yeah, like you said earlier, it's really become a um, holiday tradition. You know, the holidays really sink in once uh, we kick things off with the parade live on Atlantic. And again, to have Chartway on board as... Uh, as our broadcast sponsor, we're forever grateful. Here comes the November Project Virginia Beach. They are a human development and community group building through empowering group workouts. Yeah, they encourage people of all ages, shapes and sizes and fitness levels to uh, get moving. Members include, get this, Olympic medalists, professional athletes, marathoners, triathletes, and current and former collegiate athletes. But they're open to everyone. And here comes the Frank W. Cox High School Coquettes Dance Team. 
14 members directed by Stephanie Morgan. The ladies perform a wide variety of routines like jazz, kick and palm styles, at home football and basketball games in halftime. The team competes and has won multiple awards at local and state level competitions. Giving us a little demonstration here. This is the Frank W. Cox High School Coquettes Dance Team. Big thanks again to Chartway Credit Union for serving as the title sponsor of this year's Chartway Holiday Parade at the Beach. The Coquettes giving us a little uh, bit more of a demonstration here. There we go, lovely ladies. And again, just the amount of time that goes into uh, choreographing, learning the dance moves. It's hard work. And if you're wondering who these hand-painted ornaments are, it's the Vibe Creative District. Right here at the oceanfront, it's home to artisans of every sort. And yeah, more than 200 amateur and professional artists have transformed the Vibe Creative District with hundreds of public artwork during the past five years. Come and explore this museum without walls, free and open to the public. Also a spot I like to take visitors to check out all the murals. This group is Music in Motion, 50 members since 1995, providing families in the Hampton Roads community with quality dance classes. Yeah, performances to foster support for the art of dance. Every year, the dance company selects a local charity to support. They also participate in local competitions. They look so great. Well rehearsed, ladies. Music in Motion. The Chartway Holiday Parade at the Beach is brought to you in part by Calvis and Ackman and Chartway Credit Union. And they are uh, right behind them is the Electrified Marina located in Norfolk's new Knitting Mill Creek Eco District. Electrified Marina bringing more awareness for the boating community to work toward a sustainable future. The American Heritage Girls followed right behind them by the Electrified Marina. The Electrified Marina opening spring of 2023 for electric boat and electric jet ski rentals. I think, you know, this is just such a perfect picture of how much is going on in our local community and how many great organizations there are for you and your family to get involved in. And some, you know, that we're looking forward to being a part of, again, with the uh, Electrified Marina. Spring 2023, be on the lookout. <laughs> They've got Buddy the Elf there trapped in the truck. Yeah. That's cute. I like the Nutcracker, too. Very nice touch. Chartway Credit Union. Member-owned and values-driven, Chartway serves more than 200,000 members and has uh, been recognized by Forbes as one of America's best in-state credit unions in 2022 and has received numerous other top workplace and best credit union accolades. If you hear those drums, that's the sound of the Bayside High School Marching Marlins and the Bayside Middle School Marching Raiders. 50 members, the uh, Bayside High School Band under the direction of Mr. Jonathan Duggan and uh, Bayside Middle School Marching Raiders under the direction of Gabe Clemens performing Christmas Bits and Pieces. Bayside High School and Bayside Middle School marching together tonight. For over 40 years, Calvis and Knackman Injury Lawyers have supported the Hampton Roads community. They want to wish you all a happy and safe holiday, and we thank them for being part of the Chartway Holiday Parade at the Beach. You know, there's a lot of scholarship opportunities for some of these uh, marching band students, these kids in high school, so they can take that up to college. They'll pay for some of the tuition costs. So true, Cash. Here comes Dominion Energy. This is their 27th year 
in the Chartway Annual Holiday Parade at the beach. 25,000 lights are glistening as the uh, snow falls. And you can see it there. Look at it, it's snowing. Of course, Dominion Energy always makes it snow. Dominion Energy, also a big sponsor of the beautiful Christmas lights over at Norfolk Botanical Garden. Highly recommend going to check those out before the end of the season. Dominion Energy is built on a proud legacy of public service and committed to a safer and cleaner future utilizing renewable energy. Their employees and families wish everyone a happy and safe holiday. Oh yeah, look at these, got 25,000 lights for the uh, Dominion Energy Float. 27 years, that's a true commitment to this community. Every single year to be a part of it. And I bet they have more lights every year. Oh, I'm sure. They up the ante yeah. just a little bit more. I love the snow, that's well, a fun touch. And if we can take a look at it, you know, we had mentioned earlier, what's interesting is in, in film, right? We know that Disney just translates the holiday, but look at Star Wars. Mm -hmm. Star Wars has come through. I mean, is it the D December film release dates? I mean, what, what's going on? But more and more often, we're seeing Star Wars associated with uh, Christmas and I'm loving it. Chewbacca taking a ride. So then of course the classic, reindeer with uh, it's snowing like crazy with Dominion Energy and right behind Dominion Energy we're starting to see Eastern truck and accessories is following them hearing some nice Christmas music too this is a whole production right now yeah the uh, Dominion Energy truck that's they took that to another level. This is, I mean, it's a whole parade in itself. <laughs> it really <laughs> is, it really is, yeah. <laughs> but you have to. You can't be an energy company and, you know, you gotta. You have to take it up you a couple of notches. Way, Absolutely. Yeah. They got the music, they got the lights, it's snowing, it's looking like they're handing out stuffed animals. A pig with a uh, Santa hat on too. I mean, it looks like they, you could take anything. Trans-Siberian Orchestra, I believe, is the soundtrack to Dominion Energy's holiday float with the 25,000 lights glistening as the snow falls. Christmas trees. You know, and I gotta tell you, it's a nice look whenever you participate in the holiday floats in your pajamas, because that also <laughs> screams holidays. Really turned into a beautiful evening down here live on the Atlantic. Cash and Annalise from New Country, 97.3, the Eagle, honored to be a part of uh, Sky4 TV. And the Chartway Holiday Parade at the Beach, year two. They, uh, they invited us back, Annalise. Let's make it three next year. This again is Anchor Momo Concrete in business for 30 years, family owned and operated by a disabled veteran. And you can just tell, if you're watching right now and if you're looking for a job, this screams fun to me. Heck yeah! This looks like a group of people that get the job done and yet they can still have a good time. It's the best I, you can hope for. It says a lot. It really does. A business like that, they can come together, play loud music, and they're dancing in the street. That's a group of people you want to be a part of. That's the type of job that you can grow and you can really kind of invest some years into. Here comes the Philippine Cultural Center of Virginia. One of the largest cultural centers outside of the Philippines. The float depicts a normal Filipino Christmas fiesta. <laughs> Philippine Cultural Center of Virginia. The float depicts normal Filipino Christmas fiesta. The center was opened in 2000, celebrating 22 years of Philippines. And they look beautiful. Look at these ladies. Well, and again, interesting, uh, depicting the normal Filipino Christmas fiesta. You know, we're so used to what we've seen here, depending on what your cultures are, what your traditions are. 
fascinating to see how they uh, celebrate in uh, some oh, of the yeah. different parts of the world. Such a good reminder. We have so many um, wonderful cultures calling Hampton Roads home. For over 40 years, Calfus and Nagman Injury Lawyers have supported the Hampton Roads community. Love to wish you a happy and safe holiday from all of us at Calfus and Nagman. Here comes the Princess Anne High School fabulous marching cavaliers. Earlier we saw the Princess Anne Middle School. Here's their uh, high school companions. It's Virginia Beach's oldest and one of our most beloved marching bands. The alumni base stretches back as far as 68 years. Santa's arrival. I love that they brought along some horses. The Hunt Club Farm is, whether it be Halloween, whether it be Christmas, uh, everything they do, they do real big. And they're, they're so tied in and invested in this community. It's just, it's, it just seems so natural that uh, Old St. Nick himself is presented by Hunt Club Farm. There he is. Santa Claus, presented by Hunt Club Farm. Oh, St. Nick, Papa Noel. Santa's here, Cash. It's officially the Christmas season in Hampton Roads. Santa Claus, that's right. I got to tell you, you know, Annalise and I hosting a uh, country morning show here locally. There's an interesting new uh, country Christmas song out called Santa Was My Uber Driver. And the artist uh, that wrote and performed the song is a guy by the name of Lee Bryce, who has performed here numerous times. He's performed at the uh, Neptune Festival in the past. And it's a crazy story of him uh, landing in Virginia Beach for the sake of writing a Christmas song. And who picks him up in an Uber but Santa Claus himself? We'll be right back with more from the Chartway Holiday Parade at the Beach. It's been a great evening despite what seemed to be some challenges earlier in the day. Things really uh, made to be a lovely evening here in Atlantic for the Chartway Holiday Parade at the beach. And uh, again, uh, what an honor to come back and be with you in your homes this evening. And of course, with you, Annalise, Merry Christmas. Merry Christmas, Cash. You can hear us weekdays, Monday through Friday, 5 to 10 a.m., doing the morning show on 97.3 The Eagle. We hope you'll join us. Absolutely, and again, from all of us here uh, on Atlantic, from all of us at the Eagle, and uh, for everybody at Sky4TV and Chartway 
Uh, we want to thank you. We want to wish you the merriest of holidays. Blessings from all of us. And uh, here's to 2023. Stage up and have dinner tonight at the oceanfront and then head over to see the Bayport Credit Union Holiday Lights at the Beach open tonight through January 1st, 2023. Thanks again for joining us tonight. And to all, a, a good, good night. night.